Ain't no way. Part of Metcalf Residence Hall became a leaky brick wall. Inside, powerful water from a sprinkler flooded multiple floors. Not the way to start a week. Ian Davis lives two floors down from where the sprinkler burst occurred. I was just on the phone with my dad, and then all of a sudden the fire alarm started going off. Daniela Dankwa says she was in the middle of a nap. And then we heard this, like, exaggerated shower just out of nowhere. I'm like, what is that? And then I look at the um, the suite in front of us, the boys, the boys suite where it happened, and I just see them all scrambling around. One comes out just drenched. A spokeswoman with NC State tells me a student accidentally broke a sprinkler head. We're gonna get y'all up and get you out as soon as we can. The damage, leaving other students scrambling for somewhere else to stay. Yeah, it was just a ton of chaos. I was in class in my roommate called me and she said, do you have any valuables that you need to get um, or I like that you want me to grab? NC State workers gave students about five hours to grab personal items. I grabbed all my like winter coats and like my flannels, sweatshirts. This bag has all my shoes. An inconvenience for Davis. And I'm stranded and I, I had no clue what I was doing for a solid like three or four hours. Others making light of the situation. I mean, I'm glad it happened like now instead of like a month later, like before Thanksgiving break.